Hello, it's actually my first time picking up the camera in what feels like forever. I think it has actually been, I don't know, a couple of weeks, maybe two or three weeks since I've filmed a normal kind of vlog. I've just been so busy with the podcast. I've actually changed managers, so my manager has moved company, so yeah, I've moved as well, which is really exciting. And I've just been busy with kind of all of that stuff. Loads of different work projects going on. But I wanted to do what I love doing best and basically come on here, do a vlog and do a bit of shopping. I'm trying to be a bit more mindful. I recently got, recently got this, the five minute journal, which basically takes five minutes a day as it says on the tin and you just write down things you feel grateful for just kind of different things your highlights of the day you do a bit of a different kind of positive what's the word a daily affirmation every day and then in the evening kind of go through and answer those things and basically something i've been trying to do is getting out more and going into town and getting a coffee and taking things a bit slower. So I'm doing exactly that today. I've exercised, I've walked the dogs, I've done quite a lot of work and I'm gonna head out and have a little mooch. And I'm actually kind of in that phase of winding down some of the autumn decor and simplifying it slightly ready for Christmas, which seems crazy for me to be saying already because it's only, What's the date? Let me see. It's the 18th of October, so I do put up my tree early, but I won't be doing it for a few more weeks yet. But yeah, just trying to get a bit of a head start on those things. And I actually want to have a look in Neptune, which might be a surprise to some of you because not that I've ever spoken badly of them, but I didn't have a great working experience. And so I actually got rid of a lot of our stuff, but I wanted to have a look at their new collection and I'm also writing a piece about faux flowers and foliage and I know theirs were quite good. So I might pop into a few different homeware shops and kind of show you them and do a bit of a comparison of them all as well. So I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm just gonna get into the video now. So let's go to Bath.
Right, I am back home. I've just sat upstairs because everywhere is super dark and the washing machine was set to come on automatically at this time so it's really loud in the kitchen. So I'm up in the dressing room and Stormy is so excited to see me, aren't you? Her heart just races so much. Don't know if any of you have dogs but do they go like crazy as soon as you get home because Ziggy never has so it's kind of something I'm not really used to um, and when I was younger I grew up with we had a family dog we had a Vimarana which saw me known yeah we had a Vimarana and she was not particularly loving either she was very like she was excitable but she was quite low-key and just chilled so yeah it's strange having a dog that absolutely loves us isn't it are you gonna say hi again <laughs> She's like, put me down, Dad. <laughs> oh, I think my camera is actually giving in. This isn't my newer one that I got over the summer. This is my other vlogging camera, which I use when I'm out and about. But I wanted to show you what I bought. Any guesses where from? <laughs> It's a bit strange because I'm not sure if I actually mentioned this earlier, but I used to shop in... And Neptune obviously a lot when I worked there and before that as well and I basically just fell out of love with the brand I know I mentioned that but the thing is I still really like a lot of their products and some of their pieces I think are really good quality and reasonably priced like I stand by that I just didn't love a lot of the kind of values of the brand and stuff but I wanted to get a tray for the coffee table downstairs because now we have the footstool i want to have a tray on here which basically is the one that was downstairs so me's modeling where it'll go <laughs> and i just used my perfume one to check the size but i don't want to just be moving furniture all around so i went into the store this was wrapped so well as well and i got this tray this was i think it was 65 pounds which is quite a lot of money but I didn't think it was too bad for the size of the tray it's a really good size and I hadn't looked online or anything I just kind of went in on a whim because I have friends who work in the store so I thought I could say hello to them as well and yeah I'm really happy with it so I thought I'd show you and then I will style it downstairs and show you how it looks but that's the tray, so it's a really good depth. It's in that kind of like washed rattan, what's the um, material called? I can't remember, Stormy's trying to sniff it, look. <laughs> that actually is quite a good show of how big it is. It's a Stormy next to it, so it's a really good size. <laughs> Stormy always looks really big when I hold her up to the camera, but she is actually quite a small, <laughs> little dog but yeah I'm really happy with that and I think I'll put some books and a candle and maybe like a small vase or something on there I'll show you that one in a minute but yeah I think it was around 65 pounds and then I also as I mentioned at the start of the video I'm writing a piece on stems and foliage so I did keep the receipt although it did get quite rained on so let me just put that somewhere to dry out. Yeah, I did keep the receipt because basically I'm not sure how much. I will love these, I'm going to try them out and I'll let you know. But I got two of these new stems that I'm told are new in stock because I'm going to be writing an, I say article, take that loosely, but a video, a video, a piece of writing about foliage and faux flowers and greenery and stuff and I'm basically trying to find some really natural looking stems and I thought these, although I am worn, well it's already happening, that they can fall down but I thought those looked really, really realistic. Like I actually do think those are some of the best looking stems I can see and someone in the store told me to use hairspray 
to make sure that they don't kind of fall all over the place but they were quite a lot I think 23 pounds a stamp but if they look really real and I'm happy with them I don't mind paying a bit more so I'm going to figure out where I want those to go and I'm still waiting on a few pieces to kind of finish the dining living room and waiting for a couple of lamps so yeah you won't see kind of how the space is gonna end up looking but hopefully a pretty good idea so I'm gonna go and style all of those pieces up now and we'll show you in a sec sorry everyone I'm literally sat at probably the most awkward angle ever but this is actually kind of what it's like doing design and styling it's awkward angles and crawling around trying to get things right but I think this is literally the perfect size I did not measure so yeah I'm really glad with the size that this is also ooh, the lights are flickering God, let me change this I basically got one spotlight that's a bit well it needs to be changed in this room and it's thrown off all of the rest of the light so apologies for that but I'm just gonna layer it with a couple of coffee table book so I've got Rachel white bread white, white red what's this I don't even know what this is I think it's like an art book that I picked up ages ago and then a book by Ali Heath and Linda Gardner which I love and then I'm kind of thinking that it would be nice to have a bowl of like moss or something here just to add some kind of texture and depth also please accept my apologies for the washing machine that's Mikey if you're editing this for putting that on whilst I'm filming <laughs> and then I also have these marble coasters which you might remember from the lights and lamp panel talk that we went to so I'm gonna put those on there I will show you this all at a better angle later um, what else am I thinking? I'm actually just gonna go and like ferry a few bits from around the, well I say around the house, I've actually organised everything into cupboards, so I'm just gonna get a few bits and I'll be back. I'm just gonna voice over because, well I'm not voice overing, I'm actually talking to the camera, but I thought it would be easier because the dogs are being a bit annoying, but I've popped a candle which I can obviously shake up seasonally or whenever I'm finished with one. I've got this linen box here which is from Zara and it actually has loads of like date ideas in there for Mikey and I, so if we're like not sure what to do one evening then we can do that other than just kind of watching TV. I've got some coasters, I've got my wick trimmers which I use all the time. These are molten brown. A couple of books like I said, I'm gonna do a moss bowl there and it just really anchors this side of the coffee table I think and then over the other side I've just popped a vase of stems. I think I need to change them a little bit but I've got some really like textural stems in those are old from Neptune actually and then those are from Dunelm and I've got them in this vase from Dalesford and then I've got a couple of stacks of magazines as well Right, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see this, but I've popped two of the stems here. I actually love them. Like, I really, really am loving how this looks. I've bent one of them over and they haven't dropped really much at all. A little bit did upstairs, but I'm thinking I actually need a smaller one, but I'm loving, I don't know how well you can see, but the shadows that are kind of on the back as well, but I'm thinking I might need maybe something as like a bit of a filler here. I've obviously used two stems. I'm thinking, yeah, maybe with three, that would give a little bit more of a look. But well, I mean, I actually like it as it is. Sorry, I keep coming and looking in the camera, but I really like how this is looking. This lamp is changing. Oh, you can't really see the lamp, but I'm in the way. That lamp is actually changing. It's gonna be a bit cooler. Um, but yeah, the lighting is also really bad over here because I've got the spotlights on, but 
I really like how the view into the kitchen is looking there. Like, I think that looks really cool. So, yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. Amazing. I don't know if I've shown you this area ever before. Sorry, I'm aware I'm being really, really frantic right now. It's probably not focused on me because it's so dark. But, yeah, I don't know if I've ever actually shown you this area with the new sideboard but this is our new sideboard it's from next i really love it it's very simple sleek great storage let me actually show you inside but before i do let me just show you the stems so here they are really really love these these could actually be some of my favorite stems i have ever had i think that looks so Nice, let me know what you think, but yeah, I absolutely love them. I think they're a really nice addition and I've not seen anything like them. They look really real. Look, crazy. Um, but yeah, anyway, here. So I've got loads of pots and vases in that one. And then I've got more here. I've got some Christmas stuff that I'm starting to collect. And then over here, I've got all of my kind of camera and recording equipment. And then I've got birthday and Christmas and not Christmas, just like occasion cards. And then I've got some books stacked here and here. Piece of art, an original that I had commissioned, which I just love. And then I've got my neon diffuser there which I mean that's like a work of art in itself and this lamp is obviously changing but yeah it's looking very cozy over here look dogs are all settled Siggy's asleep I just need to tidy up all of the stuff there's the um tray that's gonna go upstairs I thought it looked really nice up there it kind of had a nice like softness to it it's a bit of cash for selling things on Facebook marketplace which I don't know if anyone else is like me, but I have girl math so bad. I think it should be retitled girl and gay math because I, every time I say like I sell something and I make some money or I refund something to a shop, like say if those stems, if I didn't like them and if I returned them to Neptune, I would feel like I was making money genuinely. And I, I have all of the classic girl math traits, which I think is quite funny. So, yeah, maybe we should rename it Girl and Gay Math. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to round the video off there. But it was so refreshing to kind of film all in one day again. And I hope you enjoyed the video, seeing some shops that I haven't been in for a little while, some of the new collections and hearing my thoughts on them. Again, apologies for the dishwasher noise. And I hopefully liked those pieces that I styled up here. I really love this kind of video. So if it's something you'd like to see again from me, please let me know and I will. I'm gonna take those off. Oh God, my eyes are adjusting. Yeah, please let me know and I will film something like that again. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and if you don't already, I would love, love, love it if you could subscribe to my channel. I upload two new vlogs a week and then lots of shorts with different styling ideas and tips and tricks and Stormy would be very grateful as well. Wouldn't you Stormy? Yeah? I know she would be. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.